my name is Katherine Hastings and I'm from Pearl River, New York. After I finish my four years here at York College, Pennsylvania, I will be certified in elementary education and special education. The reason why I want to be an elementary school teacher or a special education teacher is because I want to be able to change a student's life. I want to be able to see the light bulb go off in a student's head when they finally understand a subject that they have been struggling with. In high school, we only had a few smart boards and a few computer labs, and for the computer labs, we had to have our teachers rent them out. There are many different technologies shaping classrooms today and shaping future classrooms. Many schools across the country are switching over to more technology-based classrooms. In the article, 10 Major Technology Trends in Education, about a third of students have access to a device, typically laptops or tablets, in their schools. My school, North Hills, the one that I was observing in, is a part of this statistic. North Hills has an Apple TV in their classroom and every student has their own iPad. On the iPads, the students and teachers use apps in order to teach their lessons and learn different subjects. The ISTE standards are a part of the growth of technology in classrooms. I think that it's important that students are able to connect with the outside world which is one of the standards that allows students to do. This standard has to do with promoting, model, and promoting and model digital citizenship and responsibilities. The ISTE standard that goes along with it says that um, teachers are allowed to develop, model, cultural understanding, and global awareness by engaging with colleagues and students of other cultures using digital age communication and collaboration tools. This means that teachers can Skype with kids from other countries and teachers with other countries so that the students here can learn about other countries' culture. Um, in the article, The Second Educational Revolution, it says that even when students are in school, much of their education happens outside of school. I agree with this because it gives students real world experiences so it's better than sitting in a classroom. Even though sitting in a classroom and learning from a teacher is important, outside world experiences are also important too. In my classroom, I plan on using Nearpod as a synchronous technology. Nearpod is a great way to show students a slideshow and then quiz them on what the slideshow was on. I also plan on using Kahoot Hoot's a great way to quiz students because it's fun and competitive, and from my experience, students really enjoy using it. I also, the last technology I plan on using is Class Dojo. Class Dojo allows for students to gain responsibility because they get to sign yourself in for attendance, and they also get dojo points for when they do something great and they get them taken away when they do something not so great. My asynchronous technologies that I plan on using are Schoology and Edmodo. Schoology I can put assignments and rubrics on and grades and Edmodo I can for the most part do the same thing but I think that they're two great asynchronous technologies that I can go back and forth um, using because it's a great teacher tool. Technology is always advancing. By the time I become a teacher, it will be a very important factor in the classroom. As a teacher, I'm going to need to be updated on all of the recent technologies and apps in order to be able to teach my students them and in order to be able to use them in the classroom. Although I don't want technology to fully take over my classroom, I will be using it as a part of my lesson plans and in order to teach my students about the subjects that we are learning in school.